I'm in the northern part of the Banholz woods, making my way to a rather large German position. Lots of undergrowth, even though it's November. Here it comes. Perhaps you can already see the overgrown trench in front of me. The first thing you notice about this position is a very large and deep hole. And I'm standing at the back of it, filming back to where I came from, so you can see the trench entrance. And it actually makes a U-turn to where the entrance was of a probable fighting position, which is the big hole. It would be interesting to find archival sources on this position, how it was constructed and its intended use. So again, if I swing the camera, you can see where the trench connects and makes the U-turn in a westerly direction. Filming from the trench into the shelter or fighting position, which would have been log covered or partly log covered. Making my way west, following the densely overgrown trench. 10, 15, 20 meters perhaps. And as you can see, there's puddles of water in it as well. Would be great to clear out these bushes to get an actual view of the layout. Here you can see a junction to a second trench. Close up of the junction, this part is less overgrown. And you can actually see how deep this trench still is. Moving on. I get to some fallen and overgrown trees, so I get out of the trench to keep following it. After I get back in, I make my way to the shelter bunker. And there it is. The arched corrugated metal roof is barely visible. The roof is supported by wooden beams. And on top of the roof, there's a layer of earth and steel beams were used to reinforce it. About half of the opening is closed up using concrete blocks and there's just a small door opening. During this visit, the shelter was almost completely filled with water. Here you see the shelter from another angle. Proceeding in a southerly direction, I follow the other trench, which is filled with water as well. And I get to a second big hole, which was probably a fighting position or an entrance defense covering the entrance to the trenches. Here the trench seems to continue for a couple meters, and then it ends. Continuing again alongside what remains of the trench, I get to a big water-filled hole again. And then there's an even larger one just up ahead. Looking back, you can see where the large indentation connects to the overgrown trench. Making my way back, I presume this was the position from where German troops defending the Banholz mounted their counterattack after Company F 376th Infantry attacked these woods on 10 February 1945, almost succeeding in pushing to the northern edge of the Banholz. With Company G securing the western part of the woods, Company F pushed on, but when conditions deteriorated and the German troops mounted their counterattack using tanks, the only option was to fall back to the Unterstebüsch from where the attack initially had started. 